Hello everyone and welcome to number nine farms. Today we are going to be doing our lemons, um, our Meyer lemons that we, not our, but the ones we bought from Azure. Um, like we first picked them up, I think like two Mondays ago. So it's, um, I've had, I've just now been able to get to them, but I've been eating them the whole time. Um, as you can see, because if anybody knows me, I love Meyer lemons and I make a lot of lemonade and also um, I like to put them in the hibiscus tea. I like to just have them in the freezer. So today I'm going to um, get off some of the the pith, uh, not the pith, the, uh, yeah, for this, I don't know, the skin pith. Um, and I'm going to grate it off, but uh, we're going to use, um, let's see, I've got several of these. We're gonna wash them first, and I've got water over there um, in the sink with a little bit of white vinegar to clean them. And um, I'm gonna take this the uh, peel off. I don't, I can't I don't know why I can't get the name of it. But anyways, we're gonna take the peel off, and we're gonna use that because I want to make some lemon pepper chicken um, seasoning. And every time that I have um, bought that, it seems to get hard. So. Uh, I'm just gonna make my own. And because Bruce even asked me, can we have some more lemon pepper chicken? And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So here we go. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is um, get them in the sink washed. And, um, but like I said, this whole box was full. And every day I, I get them out and I like to put them in my water. I hope you guys can still see me. There we go. So now I got a whole sink full of beautiful Myers lemons. So I'm gonna put this in here so I can put that outside. Um, and now let me bring you guys over so you can see the, the lemons, how full the sink is. So, and then I'm just gonna take and scrub them lightly. Um, I have uh, my little um, gourd, uh, loofah gourd here. I'm just gonna scrub them lightly. And this is from Miss Judy, the um, loofah gourd. So, and then I'm just gonna kind of rinse them off a little bit. Just do that, keep doing it. Scrub them a little bit. And that way they're also in the white vinegar too. So that'll help clean them as well and each time, but I'll get that done and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so now I got a bunch of them washed. I'm not finished yet. So just go ahead and you could dehydrate this or freeze dry it. So, but I like to, if I can, um, freeze dry it because the, uh, Dehydrator likes to blow it around sometimes. And uh, I had to go down to get the trays on the basement. So, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all graded up. And of course you can uh, put this in some of your cakes. You can put this in a lot of recipes. And uh, I, used, I just fill my jars up once it's um, freeze dried. I fill my jars up over here against the wall over there. Okay. And you just keep working it around until you have all of it. And you don't want to um, get your fingers though. And another thing too to note, when you're working with lemons and limes or any of the citrus, um, if you're not used to it, it can be irritating to your hands and it can dry them out really. And even like the acid could take and make the skin look like, uh, you know, it's rough and dried out and you can tell it really irritates it. So if you're not used to that, you might want to wear some gloves. So just a little mama bear tip because um, a lot of the times I've done a bunch of videos on the lemons and stuff and I know that from experience. So I always like to tell everybody 
But that's it. You're just gonna keep doing all that. I got a long way to go, don't I? So, but I've been wanting to do this for a while. Plus, I mostly I just bought the uh, Myers Limits because they're my favorite, and I was like, because usually you can only get them like somewhere around like late November and um, December and January through maybe sometimes March. So when I saw them on the order sheet that they still had them, and I was like, I told Bruce. I don't know if I'll get them, but I'm gonna try. So they're my favorite. They're just worth everything when it comes to uh, lemons. So, all right, I'll bring you guys back. Guys, it's been going really well, just so you know. Um, I've been enjoying myself. It's kinda nice to actually get to work in the kitchen today because I've been working in the greenhouse so much. And um, it's a nice day out too. It rained this morning again. So the pond is nice and full. Um, but what I wanted to stop it for a minute and I wanted to make my water. There's my, my bottle over here. Um, let's see, okay. Let me get rid of this that's in there now because I put blueberries and stuff in it too, so hold on. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to make, uh, put some blueberries in the bottom. And I always like to um, do this because one, blueberries are supposedly brain food as well as blackberries. So if you can have either blackberries or um, blueberries, I always take and put a little tiny bit of the uh a little bit of salt in just for uh because you're drinking a lot of water and when you're drinking a lot of water you need to replace sometimes some of your electrolytes and what did i do with that knife oh here it is so i just cut the uh, lemon in half and I put it in this little thing here and this is like I don't know I've replaced these things quite often believe it or not and um then I go ahead and and uh, one time um, my friend out of the farmers market in Smithfield Virginia she actually got a lemon to grow from the seeds so I haven't tried that but um, and Colton one time got pecans to grow so we he actually had a little pecan tree Colton was always like that and now um, if, if sometimes what I'll do too is if I have some of these little things like sometimes I add like if I have some of these I'll get some of these type things sometimes and I'll add in say a scoop of that but they're kind of costly so i don't get them but uh and then i'll add in i i've had this on the shelf for a long time so and bruce had brought it up and he said could you use this so i started using it and i just put in one scoop so it supposedly has a lemon flavor but since I used the Meyer lemon, I don't really know. And then the other thing I put in too, because you guys know I'm into all kinds of nutritionist things, I put in the uh, collagen. So I just put one scoop in. And now I just fill it up with water and you have a nice little blueberry water with some lemon. Blueberries were from 22. And then I just take and shake it up really good and start drinking. And now when I went to um, my gastrointestinal doctor, because I haven't seen her or anything since North Carolina, but um, the she told me I needed to drink three of these a day. And that doesn't happen. <laughs> but uh, most of the time I can get in two, so but in the second bottle, I usually don't make another one of those type of um, 
mixes. I just put in regular water, but I do try, this is actually, a, um, I think it's three liters, I think it was, or 1500. I think that was what it was, 1500. Um, so anyways, I'll get back to, so guys, this looks like I'm on good on one tray here. So we'll go ahead and start. And this is how many got done right here. If you can see, that's it. And there's still some in the sink and there's still some over here. So it's a lot. So I just finished cleaning all the rest of them. And now I'm gonna go out and take care of the animals or at least check on everything because I've already done all the taken care of, but in case anybody needs water or anything. And I will be back. But I've got two trays now. Woo I just got um, some more eggs, which that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta wash a bunch of eggs. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze dry them. I, I tried to get my daughter Alexis to take some the last time they were here, because I had a ton of eggs. I mean, I still do, not had. But um, last year we had so many at this time that we even had them over there in their refrigerator too. But um, with that power loss, we had to bring all their stuff over here um, into the freezers and stuff. But uh, again, of course, you know, things that didn't matter like soda or whatever was in there or pop as they call it here. Because um, the first time I ever heard that was when I went to Kansas and my cousins, they said, oh, you wanna go get a pop? And I was like, what's a pop? And you know, in the South, we call it a soda. <laughs> so anyways, um, every I got a little blue egg from the quail. I had to walk, give water to the quail and I checked on all the plants and stuff and the baby chicks and the ones in the, the chick shawl, which are doing absolutely amazing. I mean, it's like a brilliant, brilliant thing. So anyways, let's get started back. I thought I would give it a little break on the uh, braiding. Um, so I'm taking now and using, this is called a Zule kitchen. Um, but I do usually do like two times, but you just, when you're using one of these, the, the best thing that you can make sure you do is either put it down, uh oh, um, or be careful because it can tend to fall on you. And I do, like I said, I have the citrus for the uh, KitchenAid, um, but I didn't find that it worked better than regular old elbow grease here. So, um, and then at the thrift store, I found um, this little guy here. Wasn't that the cutest? <laughs> I think it was like a dollar twenty nine, and then I had that half off coupon. But um, this way, if you want to, you could go ahead and strain it again um, right over the, okay, well, I, once again, somebody else has put my little thing somewhere else. <laughs> I tell you, these boys, they, they'll put my stuff anywhere. Um, let me move this out, put this down because I am telling you it's knocked me in the head and Riggy in the head. So, cause Riggy is made, he loves doing this when he's here. So I'm um, just taking, now if you don't mind like some seeds or a pulp in it, then just dump it as it is. I don't mind the pulp, um, but the seeds, you know, of course, if I get a seed, it's no big deal. But that's it. And then you've got this fresh um, lemon juice. So, and I found that this little cup fits perfect under there. And I was at a craft show in Virginia Beach, Virginia one time. And at the end of the show, um, we and her traded because she was right beside me. And you just want to rinse that off because it will get clogged up. But I have a different one. I just don't know where it's at right now. All right, so that's it. But you see, that's only been like uh, three or four oranges. And look, I mean, not oranges, um, lemons. And look at that. Boy, will that make some good lemonade. Because some honey, 
Hmm. I found it. It was in the bottom drawer over there. Because uh, Cooper's been doing the dishes now, which is a big help. He's been doing a lot in the kitchen, which is wonderful. Because he's in the culinary um, part at the uh, school. So he, he goes two hours a day to another school. And he does the... Um, the culinary parts and so one day he was it's kind of funny but he he's cooper is you just got to know cooper to understand so cooper goes and I, he's gonna put together the the mixer and i was like okay wait a minute now if you if you put it together and and it doesn't fit right it's not gonna work and he's like i already know that i broke the one at school and he said he spent 10 minutes taking it apart so nobody would know. And then he told the teacher, uh, I think I broke this. <laughs> so, so Cooper already knew, um, but he's doing so good. And I'm so proud of him. He, he just really is doing really well. He likes to be in the kitchen. So that's a good thing. But I'm still working on these um, lemons. So, or Meyer lemons rather, but um, I just wanted to show you that, that I found it. Guys, guess what? I am actually officially on the last lemon, at least the last Meyer lemon. I do have a few others in there um, and I'm gonna try to fill the other trays up with those and the limes. Um, we'll see, it's two o'clock now in the afternoon, so, I'll have to get dinner done. Um, and I've also got where that plum tree fell down out there um, from that storm. I'm gonna go ahead and do some cuttings on that so I can go ahead and get them going. So, yay, the last one. Woohoo! Let's all jump for joy. <laughs> that was a lot. All right. I did wash all the um, little jars. Uh, so I'm gonna use the jelly jars to um, get them in the freezer. So, I, and also I'm gonna take and, uh, and I'm not gonna fill them all the way to the top to for allow for expansion. And I will just put the lid right on them and that is it and I will put them in the freezer and so when I want to have the lemon juice and I'll just take one um, out and put them in the uh, to make whatever I'm making if I want to just have it for my own water or if I want to make lemonade or if I need it I'm going to also do some of the uh, little cubes. I got to go down to the basement and get the um, the containers so from the super cubes. So there we go. And I am so happy to be done. And also, if you didn't want to freeze dry or dehydrate, you could actually let this dry naturally. And it would be perfectly fine, too, as well. Because I know some people tell me they don't have either one, so I understand. You can just let them dry naturally. I just brought everything up. <laughs> um, I got to rinse everything off. But I got the, uh, I think this is the one table, is it two tablespoons or one tablespoon? Um, oh, it's, I'll tell you, I think it's one tablespoon. I'm, uh, Okay, so these are the two cups. So I'm going to make some of the uh, concentrate too. I brought up some honey, which I have lots of this down there. It's just, uh, he's got it where I can't get to it. So the other day when I was scrolling through, um, like some stuff to, something to watch, because in the morning while I drink my coffee, I try to watch some YouTube myself. And so anyways i was watching and guess what um becky from acre homestead has the lemons and does the whole thing of course she made a whole bunch of good recipes and stuff so she gave me the idea of uh, because i watched the whole thing and uh she this is one of her friends 
um, Crystal Schmidt, which I know she's popular on Instagram, I've heard people say. Um, and it's also had the forward by Eve Kilter from the Alaska, The Last Frontier. Uh, so anyways, but last year I've made, when I got the book, um, let's see, I think it was, I don't know when it was, but this right here, the Potluck Ranch Pasta Salad, and I'm going to tell you right now, my boys went crazy over that because I've never been one to make a whole lot of um, meals like that because, you, know, you know, I didn't really have a lot of experience with that um, as a child and I, and then, so I didn't never really do it. And now I make a lot of little pasta meals and they absolutely go crazy over it. Who doesn't love pasta, right? So anyways, she used the honey lemonade concentrate in here on page 82. So I'm going to also make that because I thought it was a great idea. Um, also I was going to make some preserved lemons, but, um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off and get that done because now I have three trays of the um pit I don't know how what it's called okay I can't even remember the peel the peel and I brought up I got all the tops like these are peanut butter tops and um mayonnaise tops so I'm gonna be putting those on the jars and we're gonna go ahead now and wash these so there I've got them in here now um, when the super cubes are awesome, if you haven't, um, tried them yet, and this is one tablespoon, like I said, I couldn't remember if it was, but I, um, so what you're going to do now is just fill these with the lemon juice. And then that way, when a recipe calls for one tablespoon, you can just pop it right in, especially like if, um, you're doing some of your jams. I know they say don't, uh, use any of the like home, uh, done because of the acidic, um, reasons but uh the the jam most of the time as long as there's already enough acid in them if you're not doing any peppers or anything like that then that's a quite you know that can add something that is non-acidic to that so when you make the jams you always want to use like um lemon juice or apple cider vinegar so anyways um i'm getting off topic here so I wanted to pop in real quick and tell you that I used the, the first little jar had about two thirds of the cup of honey, which is, um, anyways, that is I, what here. So I went ahead and made the whole full, um, lemonade. I mean, yeah, lemonade. And so I'm having too much fun here because I'm just like, I can't stop with all the things I want to do. Um, so let's have a little cup of that. And, uh, I didn't have to, since the, the honey was um, crystallized, I did, it just melted right into the, the um, lemonade. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Thank you, Crystal. Oh my gosh. It's so much better with honey. Um, It's been a long time since I made uh, lemonade with honey, but I used to do that years ago. But it's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there's gonna be any left one for Bruce. <laughs> no, I don't want you to drink it all. I don't want all that honey in me today. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and make it for the um, containers for the concentrate. But I just wanted to tell you that, and I've still got all this to cut and um, process. So, but I'm having fun. Always like to show you guys the little let pot um, and how well the stuff is growing. I can't wait to have some lettuce. Today is like 20 days. So this time it didn't seem to grow as fast as um, last time. The lettuce just went like crazy quick. I and mean, like in 30 days you had complete full lettuces, but it's doing really well. And I lost um, one of the peas. It didn't, it didn't um, like um, germinate. So um, I never did plant another one. I'm gonna have to go find an Allen wrench. Um, it broke off right there or come out unloose, I guess I should say. So I'm gonna have to go find an Allen wrench now. Oh boy. I've just, I have used this so much though. 
Look who came to the rescue. <laughs> well, you wait till you get the bill for this repair, me lady. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. There's something else missing. It's this part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have told you oh, that. I'm going to have to charge double. I got to fix it twice. <laughs> oh, it's going to cost a lot of kisses with this repair. So I did the last few lemons that I had on this tray. That's like the regular lemons. So, but I'm waiting for you to try this lemonade. Oh, I'm going to try it. All right, well, get a sip so we don't have to just watch oh. you fix this thing. Well, that's, hey, that's you too. Guess how to... Yeah, well, I just didn't know where the Allen wrench was. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. It is really good, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yes, I know. I think it's better than the sugar one. That is better than the sugar one. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick <coughs> these in the uh, freeze dryer. Okay, so now they're... These two are full of the lemon juice, and I'm going to stick these in the freezer. And I um, made the concentrate again, which is right here, the concentrate. So this, you can see the honey in it. And Bruce has pretty much drank the, the other that I made. He came back for another cup. <laughs> for sure, I'm going to be making some more of these honey ones. Not to go empty, but those last four... Um, are the regular lemon juice. So eight are going in the freezer now. And oh, well actually seven, because I'm keeping one out. All right guys, so we decided that uh, we're going to cook a stir fry tonight. Uh, we have Napa cabbage, um, bok choy, or pak choy, however you want to say it. And the chicken that I cooked um, before, like, like Thursday or Friday, what was left over and um, we got some of the baby corn. Bridge comes coming in close. Well, I'm just enjoying how beautiful you <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was mesmerized. Some onions and um, bamboo shoots, the uh, water chestnuts and stuff. So Bruce and I, I've told you all before, we took a Chinese cooking class oh. back in like 1994, 95, somewhere around there. Cody wasn't born and he was born in 97. So, um, we used to go there to the um, high school, and I always got the job of um, skimming off the soup, the fat off the soup, and cutting up the tofu, or um, doing the uh, the ginger garlic um, soy um, sauce. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, yes, yeah. and that was um, so you took vinegar, um, water, and soy sauce, and then you put in uh, ginger and a little bit of sugar. And I'm gonna tell you, I, I cook that every ah, week. Yes. That's so good. But then when I cooked it for the boys, they didn't care for it. You talking but me we, into it. We loved it. Miss Lee was yeah. our teacher. You talking me into it. Yeah. Mm. So that was good times. Mm. With some coconut aminos and some orange, uh, is it orange sauce? Yeah, Isn't it? I yeah. Think so. This morning, I, we put on, well, Bruce couldn't find the crock pot, but I knew where it was. Anyways, um, these are two pork roast. And what the heck is all that? Must have made the salt. Um, anyways, they, I put apples in it. And the one time that I made that, Bruce, back in my early 20s, Bruce said when he came home, he said, oh, are we having company? <laughs> <clears throat> Process complete. Almost exactly 11 hours. That was pretty quick. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. It smells good. And every yesterday when everybody got home, oh, what is that citrus smell? Mm, that smells good. <laughs> I just said, I did all the lemons today. But it's all beautiful, so let's go ahead and get these in jars, and then we'll close this video out. Today is going to be 65 degrees, and it is absolutely beautiful out there. I've already cracked the um, cold frame and put the uh, uh, door open on the greenhouse so that while I'm gone, it doesn't uh, get too hot in there. I'm trying to think what the best way to scoop this out is. Yeah.
Look at that. It's almost like flake coconut, like the dry, unsweetened flake coconut. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So anyways, the uh, I got this foot appointment today. Um, that I still have this plantar fasciitis that, okay, it's literally been going on since last August. And I have seen on YouTube that there is a lot of people that um, can have it long term like this, chronic. And uh, it's only the one foot. And I don't get it, but whatever. So um, I tell you what it all happened. And it all happened at the state fair. That's when I started limping around. But um, I I had stopped wearing the Croc, not the Crocs, the uh, Birkenstocks. And I've been wearing Birkenstocks since the year 2000. Okay? Because that was like the first time I could actually afford to buy some. And uh, anyways, long story short... I think that a lot of it came from that because I have seen people say that your foot gets so used to it that it it just it gets used to it and you need to be on it. But anyways, let me go get the other trays. Guys, there's what I got. Um, quart, a little tiny um, spice jar, and then this is the regular lemon spice jar. So now it's time to make some uh, cakes and stuff. But uh, I am so glad that I had fun with this. Um, it was very relaxing and, you know, just wonderful. I now want to do some oranges like that as well. And I got to spend it with you guys. So take care and see you next time.